Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is division algorithm for signed magnitude data. In this video, I'll be telling you about the hardware implementation and hardware algorithm for division. Let us begin. First, you must be aware with the division operation which we used to perform in our daily life. Suppose you have to divide 10 by 5. So you are dividing 10 by 5. So 2 is the quotient and remainder is 0. But here we are talking about the binary division. But if you observe the binary division operation that is very much simpler in comparison to the decimal. Because here whatever the quotient is that you are getting either 0 or 1. So and the operation which is to be performed in the case of the division that is actually what you have to subtract then shift right so the division operation for two fixed point binary numbers in signed magnitude data that is what the repetition of the comparison shifting and subtracting and in this particular case there is no need to estimate how many times the dividend or partial remainder needs to be adjusted so this division which is the binary division that is very much simpler let me tell you when you are performing with the help of paper and pen how it is going to happen you have the dividend a which is 0 triple 1 0 divisor is b which is 1 triple 0 1 you have to perform the operation a upon b it means what this particular number will be divided 0 triple 1 0 right and you are dividing with 1 triple zero one which is b now how this particular operation is being performed now you can compare this dividend and divisor here a is less than b then the quotient will be when uh, this particular value a is less than b the quotient will be zero otherwise this particular value will be one and here you have to determine quotient and remainder both so here when you are observing this dividend, this is smaller than the divisor. So the quotient is 0. Now it means you are subtracting 0 from here. So what you are getting? You are getting the number 1, 1, 1, 0. Right? So now let us introduce 1, 0. Now when you divide this number, it means the quotient is 1. Now the number will be 1, triple 0, 1 subtracted subtraction can be performed by using two's complement also or you can directly perform binary subtraction so when you are subtracting this is what 0 minus 1 is 1 this is 1 this is 0 and this number is 1 now again let us introduce one more 0 so what is going to happen the quotient will be 1 now this will be again 1 triple 0 1 you will multiply it you are going to subtract it perform the subtraction so here what you are going to get over here when you are performing this is what one uh, two minus one this is one this is zero this is uh, what one right and these bits are zero so again you are introducing one zero still this number is a smaller means the quotient you will be introducing zero let us introduce one more zero now this is larger than b so you can take a question 1 it means now you can subtract this with 1 0 0 0 1 subtract it what you are getting you are getting this is uh, 1 this is 1 this is 0 0 0 you can introduce one more 0 still this number is means you can stop the operation over here and this is what this is what the quotient and this is what the remainder you are getting so this is how you are performing division algorithm with the help of paper and pen but what is going to happen when you need to implement this particular algorithm by which the computer can perform the operation then you need to implement the circuit and accordingly the algorithm must be developed this is the hardware implementation for the divide operation here you can see the hardware implementation for divide and for multiplication operation this is identical there is no much difference over the only difference is in the case of the multiplication the resultant is shifted towards right but here the resultant which is available in register e a q and this will be shifted towards left left with 
zero inserted into the q n and when this particular zero will be inserted initially the previous value will be lost so what happens over here register b it is used to store the divisor register a and q it will store the double length of the dividend which is to be like upon which the operation is to be performed and the information for the magnitude that is available in the e and sequence counter holds the value which is equal to the number of bits in the case of the dividend but since here uh, dividend also store the sign bit also so if in case there are total n bits in the case of the dividend but out of those n one will be used to store to represent the sign so n minus 1 bits will represent the magnitude so n minus 1 is the number which is to be stored in the sequence counter right so result will be stored in e a q initially e will be set to the zero as and bs represents the sign and QS is the integral part of this, which represents the sign of the quotient. Now, this is the hardware algorithm for the divide operation. So, you can observe in this particular diagram for this divide operation, the dividend is stored in AQ, right? AQ and divisor is in the B. So, first, there is a requirement to identify the sign of the result, and sign of the result is transferred into the QS, right? So, sign is being uh, uh, calculated by taking the XOR of AS and BS and that particular sign that is the part of the quotient and sequence counter is having the value N minus 1 because one bit of word will be able will be used to represent the sign. So, the magnitudes will be of N minus 1 bits. Now, there is a requirement to check the condition of divide overflow. Divide overflow is checked by subtracting b from a so when b is to be subtracted from a so there is a uh, operation which can be performed take the two's complement of b add it to the one this particular subtraction operation can be performed this is being happening at this particular place now there is a requirement to check what is the value of e if a is greater than or equal to b it means divide overflow is set divide overflow is set means it is set as 1 and the operation is terminated before the time but in case if a is less than b then there is no overflow condition it means the value of dividend is re-established how the value of dividend is re-established initially you have performed the operation a minus b so now let us add b so that that particular operation can be compensated so here again a plus b is being performed and divide overflow is set as zero now you can observe from here you are coming to this particular point this is what shift left shifting the content of e a q towards the left this shifting operation happens and the division of magnitude which is being shifted there you have to observe ki that during shifting what is the value of e if the value of e is coming out as zero it means a minus b is being subtracted a minus b operation is being performed a minus b means again taking the two's complement of b added to the e if e is one then q naught bit will be set as a one if the value of q is for example zero 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 so this is what the q naught bit at some places you can observe q n may be written over there so this bit will be set to one and sequence counter will be decremented by one and then you have to check about the value of sequence counter whether it is getting zero or not if it is not equal to zero then whole operation will be performed if the value of e is equal to zero means the number a is less than b again plus b is being added sequence counter will be decremented by one initially also if during shifting the value of e is found as one means again a minus b operation if a is greater than or equal to b q naught bit will be set as a one sequence counter will be decremented means if the shift left operation inserts zero in e the divisor is subtracted and that subtraction is performed by taking the two's complement value and the carry is moved into the E. And this particular process is repeated with register A containing the 
partial remainder and when the value of sequence counter will be reaches to zero that will be the end of program question will be available in q and the remainder will be in r so this is how you can explain the hardware algorithm or flow chart for division algorithm for sign magnitude data this is what i have explained you just have listed out over here so you can take a note thank you so much for watching this video